What's beautiful about the symbol of stones that shine light is the idea of Yerm and Thummim, which we are all quite familiar with in the church. And it turns out the word Ur in Hebrew means light. And when you put the I-M on the ending of that word, it actually makes it the plural. So it's lights. So we actually, if we wanted to describe the stones that sat in the barges, there's two stones on each barge, it would be urim, lights. And each of us have been given light from the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Spirit acts as urim for us, and it leads us to completion, which is this other word that we're familiar with. And that is what God's light does for us. And again, this beautiful metaphor of the barges that they brought urim, urim and thummim, I'm not saying they actually these were Urim and Thummim, but just the basic meaning of these Hebrew words, we could look at the barges, the light in them, as a form of Urim and Thummim. You know, again, we have that today, that the Book of Mormon was brought forth through a stone or stones that shone forth truth and light. And we have modern-day prophets who in some ways are symbolic Urim and Thummim, or Urim and Thummim, sorry, I'm speaking Hebrew, that they also bring forth light and truth for us, that as we are in our own personal barges being blown forth the promised land, the light that God's chosen servants provide for us give us that sense of perspective and hope in sometimes a despairing world, and that we don't have to transition through this life fully in the dark. We have the light available.